And a model flight over the bay sets a new record. Geelong to Melbourne doesn't seem much of a feat, but for a Carnegie model aircraft enthusiast, it's earned a world record nonetheless. Boys and their toys. 37-year-old Mike Farnham pumps two and a half litres of fuel into his baby chopper. And from then on, it's hard to tell the real from the model. Flying next to them, it was like a mother with her baby buzzing across Port Phillip Bay, all done with the flicker of a few remote controls. I was always slightly nervous. One thing that possessed me to, to do this was to get model helicopters all recognised for the public. Because a lot of people out there have never heard of a radio controlled model helicopter. I don't know what they can do. The model flight path tracked from Geelong to Elwood's Moran Park, reaching speeds of up to 100 kilometres an hour. The model is, is, I guess, bouncing around more than what the real one does. So it's, you've just got to keep pace with it, and I've just got to keep him in the right position where he can see it and, and his antenna will control it. Then, in 40 minutes, touchdown and the hobby shop owner is a world champion. This adds to his international uh, uh, reputation. How does it feel to be a world champ? Oh, fantastic. Jennifer Adams, 7. Of two has claimed an unusual world record. Mike Farnan has become the first person to fly a model helicopter over water. Susie called and met him. It was around 100 metres above Port Phillip Bay this morning that Mike Farnan's dream became reality. His tiny model helicopter set out over a 65 kilometre stretch of water, leaving Geelong before 8 en route to Elwood. We're coming up to 15 minutes of flight time now and we're about uh, a third of the way across, so we're running on schedule. From a conventional chopper, Mark remotely controlled his model, which was weighed down with four kilograms of extra fuel to cover the flight. It was a delicate task, even for a man who's been flying models since he was just four years old. I was amazed how easy it was, but one of the main reasons that was we had a, a strong tailwind, and that blew us across the bay. We really did it in half the time it should have taken. Within 30 minutes, the crew was taking in breathtaking views of the city skyline and travelling at up to 100 kilometres an hour. To me, I hadn't pulled it off until the model touched the ground because the full-size helicopter would land first and then there's all the rotor wash coming off its rotor blades which I had to land in through it. And that he did, completing the trip in 40 minutes. It's a record Mike is already hoping to break with an even longer trip planned across Bass Strait. I would really have to sit down and work out how to do that, and that would be island hopping. That would be some something to do. Susie Calder, National 9 News.